What is up, YouTube? Good evening. You're back at it with another My League Simulation, and today we are simming none other than the the next Steph Curry, the the Trey Young. Like always, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel. You like what you're watching? Drop a comment down below. Who'd you like to see next? Turn on those post notifications. But let's get to it. I was eventually gonna do Trey Young, obviously, but I think it was the last rebuild that I did, the Pacers rebuild. He had a Finals MVP where he averaged like 40 points. 11 assists and incredible shooting numbers and then i noticed he had like a million badges so right now he's an 89 overall 37 overall total badges 37 i think in training camps i'm probably gonna improve his defense and make him a two-way player he's got 13 shooting badges 14 playmaking nine finishing a lot on gold already so i expect those to go to hall of fame uh you know just through natural progression he's still only 21 years old this jump from 19 to 28 he's having a, a great season obviously being trumped by luka Doncic, who just is an absolute monster right now playing balling great uh, he got injured ankle injury so he's gonna be out a little bit but i remember they were making a big deal about it last season who should have won rookie of the year stuff like that i think luka deserved it but <laughs> you, i mean if you're a franchise you wouldn't be you wouldn't be sad with either of these guys the hawks are young depending i, I know the cpu in rebuilds usually gets like a demarcus cousins in the offseason puts them at the center spot after that I, I don't know what happens i don't even know if they develop their youth or not but they have youth i'm just gonna do this and have cpu reset because i know that changes quite a bit yeah ben Bree, deandre hunter parker alex len kevin herder evan turner jones parsons and vince carter i don't think parsons has has he even played so he's played a little bit he's uh 14 total points so i don't know how the well, how many games that comes out to but we'll just leave it how it is that's uh, coach it would have eventually changed it to that anyways at once i start simulating but let's see how trey young finishes this season nine to uh 2019 2020 season all-star team maybe all nba team maybe defensive team absolutely not i don't think so but let's get it started uh i want to remember his it was 37 correct 37 total badges but i'll see you guys i don't think in the playoffs whatsoever they'll have a good draft pick and uh hopefully the team sticks together they win plenty of championships trey young becomes a hall of famer and one of the best scorers that the league has ever seen no surprise here Giannis takes the mvp award rookie of the year Morant, brandon clark six that's that's cool that's cool to see uh Kawhi Leonard defensive player of the year bam most improved coach of the year Doc Rivers with the Clippers Trey Young makes an all-nba second team and guess who made the first team of course Luka Doncic will Trey and Luka be on that first team eventually I'm hoping but clearly with an all-nba team uh appearance he played really well so let's go see how he finished player stats trey young 25.7 7 assists 1 steal uh 3.6 rebounds shooting wise 48 percent uh pretty much 49 percent 41 from the uh the uh three point line 87 he'll have a 40 50 90 season for sure his points lowered a little bit um but that's fine i think it was because of the minute distribution that happened uh there you guys have it 26 points a game seven assists all, all nba second team should have made an all-star team as well all-star team second team all nba first team all rookie last season adding to the resume slowly but surely he's gonna score a lot of points too so let's get this let's get this a uh, playoffs over with and maybe sneak into the playoffs next season clippers win it Kawhi leonard finals mvp great shooting numbers i mean just to, what Kawhi does now to see what the hawks change what happens to the team and hopefully get on the right track to get our boy trey young some championships the hawks really went out and drafted um nico another point guard floor spacing slasher that's kind of weird that's kind of weird i mean obviously he'll come off the bench they'll come off the bench for quite a while so maybe he'll just be a great backup for those four seasons will he stay after that i have no idea but they also signed marcus morris senior to a three-year contract 
13, 14, and then 14.69 million dollars. The youth improves. Of course, Trey improves three overall. He's a 92 overall now. Gonna send him to probably some defensive camps or something. And I actually I just noticed Evan here as well, which is out. Why? And his canter. Oh my gosh, they had so much money. Why am I just noticing these? For some reason, I felt like they were on the team already. They clearly weren't, so they went out and spent money. Evan, Ennis Cantor, Marcus Moore Sr., alongside the youth. I mean, I guess the team is kind of deep now. The playoffs are a uh, sure thing, in my opinion. But I guess we'll see what happens. I don't like the signings whatsoever. Here's the lineup that the Hawks are now putting out. Trey Young, Evan Fournier, uh, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, and Ennis Cantor. Um... I mean, the Evan, that's not the worst signing, I guess. It's another shooter, another score. Maybe they felt pressured. Hey, we need Trey Young. We need to give him some help, make him happy for now, get to the playoffs, be competitive, and then we'll focus on developing the youth around him. Um, Because Kevin's already a 79. He might end up being better than Evan. Unfortunately, Cam Reddish not getting any minutes for them. Uh, Trey did go up to 41 badges, three Hall of Fame shooting ones now. Dimer goes to Hall of Fame as well. So 41 total badges instead of 37 that he had. I want to see how high that gets because what's even the total amount of badges you can get? But let's see if he leads them to a playoff berth. I think he will. They'll get to the playoffs easily. Um, and season number two, let's get to it. I can't wait to see when his first finals appearance is. And then we'll hop in if it's a close game. We'll hop in as they see the ceremony or something like that. But let's get to the playoffs first, uh, hopefully in this 2020, 2021 season. Giannis wins at year number two, and I think after this year, it might start changing. Cole Anthony, rookie of the year, sixth man, Ricky Rubio for the Spurs. Kawhi Leonard, defensive player again. Markel Fultz, most improved coach of the year. Mike D'Antoni, 57-25, not a ridiculous, unattainable record. We finished 39-43, and which could be enough for the Eastern Conference. This time, no All-NBA team, unfortunately. Okay. He's going to take that chip on his shoulder, come back, come back stronger next season. Are we in the playoffs? No playoff appearance. That might be why they didn't put him in an all-NBA team. We'll have to see his stats. 26.4, 7 points. So it didn't change that much from last season. More points, more assists, less rebounds, same amount of steals pretty much, less turnovers. Better shooting, close to that 50, 40, 90. Uh, he'll get there though, 32 minutes in less minutes. He played better in less minutes. Uh, and then everybody else scoring 12 points. Um, <laughs> what? Okay, cool. Need a lot of improvement on the squad. Make Trey Young happy. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta do something. Y'all signing Evan and his Cantor, Marcus Morris. Why? The Rockets win the NBA championship. James Harden gets his finals MVP. On to the next. Third season now that we're simulating. It should be his fourth season in the league. Trey Young continues to improve, but he only goes up one overall. But it's great to see all the other youth improving because he sure needs that help. Uh, John Collins, DeAndre Hunter, Evan even goes up to how? I don't know, but he did. Uh, Kevin goes up to and his cancer declines. Uh, Nico goes up three. Do not take my starting job. He's he's far away. He's far away. Marcus Morris, two more years of his contract. Cam Reddish goes up to a 77, so hopefully he starts getting some minutes. And it looks like they drafted his guy, Jaden Springer, 13th overall. Trey stays at 41. I'm guessing he got, yeah, I think he got a lot more Hall of Fame badges, especially in playmaking, because that was only Dimer. Stays at 41, but the team looks a little bit better because they've all improved, uh, except for Ennis Cancer. He went down in some areas, but this, it looks like a playoff team, especially there's 80s off the bench, borderline 80s off the bench. Uh, Cam Reddish finally getting minutes, so I think it's time for the playoffs. Fourth season, last year on his rookie scale contract, about to get paid, hopefully back to another All-NBA team. If anything, he's just adding his, adding to his resume in his stats department, getting more points, getting more assists, trying to be a, a top guy in those two in those two categories. Now to the end of the season, hopefully with the Hawks in the playoffs, but it's looking kind of rough. Here, uh, Ben Simmons wins MVP, rookie of the year goes to Evan Mobley, DeMarcus Cousins, sixth man of the year, Kawhi Leonard, defensive player on the Bulls. Okay, most improved LaMelo Ball. Dave Fisdale, I... Uh, 
who's he coaching no all nba team again but finally make the playoffs as the seventh seed so that's cool to see as long as he's adding stats as long as he's making an all-star team he should be good all nba teams i mean yeah they help but I'd rather him get some rings, some finals MVPs, maybe an MVP award, and then he'll be on his way. But, yep, three all-star teams in a row. You guys saw that 2020. He still has 41 badges, of course. His scoring has lowered because, one, coach runs a 10-man rotation. Two, there's a solid backup 81 overall point guard off our bench. But he got 22.3 points, 7.4 assists. Uh, he could be getting a lot more, but I'm pretty sure he's not getting the most minutes. He's got 49% on the field, 42, and then 86. Don't know if he'll ever get to that 50, 40, 90 season. But he's only playing 31 minutes. Like I said, he could be playing 36 minutes, absolutely having probably 28 points a game, 9 assists. 28 and 9, why not in those extra four minutes? That is quite a lot, but let's just go see what he does. And his first playoff appearance, uh, seventh overall against the MVP and Ben Simmons, which is kind of a tough matchup there, and it was atrocious. On to season number four of our simulation, season number five of Trey Young's career. 76ers take it, so at least we lost to the champions, I guess. Ben Simmons wins MVP and finals MVP. Uh, uh, hopefully, Trey improves a lot more. Trey improves to a 94 overall, so he's only going up by one. Don't know if he's ever going to reach uh, 99 overall. He might. He's still only 23. Collins improves in some areas, but the team overall is improved. I don't know how Evan's improving. I don't know how that's happening. I don't know how Cody Zeller's improving. What's going on? Anyways, the young guy, Nico, 82 overall now. Uh, Marcus Morris declines. Jaden Springer improves. Did they lose? Did we? Who did we lose? Cam Reddish is gone, I'm pretty sure, which kind of sucks, but uh, shouldn't he still have been on a rookie scale contract? Whatever. Trey Young, like I said, a 94 overall. He had 41 total badges. Does that improve? Nope, but I'm hoping a lot more are on Hall of Fame. Uh, defense rebounding, still only one badge. Even though I've been improving his perimeter defense, it doesn't improve that drastically. It would have to add up over time. But the team, I guess, is improving. Cody Zeller somehow is in 83. Let's go ahead and make the playoffs again. Um, and then hopefully when these contracts are up, they actually sign somebody useful. No disrespect, but we need some better players. $18 million next season. After that, $71 million because I'm guessing Evans' contract. Oh, Evans is... Okay, we've got to re-sign DeAndre Hunter. Trey Young clearly just got the bag. I... <laughs> if it keeps going like this, I need the young guys to stick together and then maybe they'll win a championship. I'll see you guys at the end because if not, and he keeps signing these low 80 guys for that much amount of money, eventually we'll, use, we'll lose our youth. And Trey Young will be stuck here alone. Anthony Davis, MVP, Chris Livingston, Rookie of the Year, Sixth Man, RJ Hampton, Kawhi Leonard, Defensive Player, Cam Reddish, Most Improved. What a surprise. The Raptors scooped him up for a season. Why Atlanta didn't bring him back, I have no idea. They literally just let him go, and uh, Toronto might have their, themselves their, their, their small forward of the future and a star at that because he's 23 Maybe by the time he's 25, 24, he'll be a high 80 overall. That sucks. Trey Young does make an All-NBA first team this time because I'm pretty sure he's getting the minutes. Makes it with Luka. That's honestly, so I kind of wanted that to happen eventually. It did. But 38 and 44, we suck. Almost scores 30. He's li literally 0.1 away. Eight assists, 1.3 steals, a 50, 40, 89 percent so close 36.4 minutes like i said he's getting the minutes um I, I can't i clearly i'm not rebuilding this team i don't know why they would go with another point guard deandre hunter is getting better and better so that's the good thing they better resign him or we're pretty screwed but we somehow have og now i'm guessing he was in free agency yeah and we gave him 1.79 to just come to the team and he did okay uh, this game's weird. The team sucks. The team sucks. Got to simulate to another offseason. We'll see if they make any moves. Grizzlies win it. Morant is a finals MVP already, and we've made the playoffs once. Sick. Trey Young goes up two this time, so I'm cool with that. Of course, the team is improving. Cody Zeller still in. I, yeah, this game's broken. This game's broken. How? Why are these guys going up? 
I don't know. Elijah Fisher, we uh, power forward, small forward, a seven footer. And he's a small forward. Jeesh. 80 overall. These guys are way too overpowered. This guy we've had for a couple seasons, and now he goes up five. Okay. <laughs> I think we're on our way with these made up young guys. Uh, oh my goodness. Get Trey Young some help. He's one of the best guards in the game. Still only 41 badges and uh, just one defensive slash rebounding badge. I would uh, keep sending him to defensive camps, but uh, he's not improving. Here is the team. They got Cameron Fletcher, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, Cody Zeller. Uh, maybe John Collins moves to center as 6'9". And this Elijah Fisher guy moves the power forward because... He's absolutely ridiculous. Do we still have the same coach? No, we have Nate McMillan now, so maybe that'll improve. Finally fired that other guy because I, nothing was happening. Absolutely nothing was happening. Let's get it. Hopefully this is enough for another playoff appearance because we've only had one in like six years, one in five years. I don't know. This isn't good for our boy Trey Young to be one of the top point guards to ever play this game. Giannis is back on the most valuable player podium. Rookie of the year, LeBron James Jr. And sixth man of the year. Okay, buddy. Anthony Davis, defensive player of the year, most improved Isaiah Mobley. Frank Vogel, 56 and 26. Finished 49-33, our best record yet, so I'm going to take that. No All-NBA team once again. Uh, we're second overall in the Eastern Conference with a 49-win team. Okay, I guess. That's 27 a game. I will take that. It's a lot better than when he was getting 22, so 27 a game, 8.5 assists, 50, 40, 90. Let's go. Should have made an All-NBA team. 34 minutes, 2.8 fouls a game. A solid enough team to make some noise in these playoffs. I'm hoping we get past this first round here against Detroit. Maybe even to the conference finals. Maybe play a little bit with Trey Young. Player lock onto him. And uh, ball out. Ball out. Or try to make a comeback in a certain... Okay, now we don't get a chance to do anything. Because we lose to Detroit in the first round. Uh, Philadelphia upset Indiana as well. Orlando's the number number one seed on this side. Okay, then. Okay, then. It is looking kind of grim. I think this is the moment where I decide to start simulating. And then once anything uh, happens, if he wins an MVP, I'll let you guys know. If we make it far in the playoffs, of course, I'll show you guys that. But the way it's going, we're not really doing much besides adding points to, uh, adding uh, adding number stats to our resume. We're, I mean, we're probably making the All-Star team, but no All-NBA teams. Are, or we'll do it every other season. The Lakers win it, though. Cade Cunningham, 35 a game for them. Holy Holy, I don't know if we're going to win a championship, especially the way this team has been signing players. Trey Young gave the Atlanta Hawks seven seasons. They reached the playoffs twice, so he skedaddled out of there. Skedaddled. And now he's with the Nuggets. <laughs> um, I'm hoping this is this is a turning point here because Nikola Jokic still in his prime, still going to be good for a couple of more seasons. 95 overall, paired up with a 97 overall. Paired up with an 89 overall 22-year-old. They're going to continue to get better. Uh, at least Kuminga is. I don't know about Trey Young anymore if 97 is his peak or not. 95. Jokic. Kaben Gele. Kaben, however you say it. 81 overall. 81 overall uh, shooting guard. And then 80s off our bench. Three 80s off the bench. A 78 and a 76. So we'll see what happens. Um, now we're in the Western Conference. Getting minutes. Still have made a bunch of all-star teams. But uh, time to start simulating. Until something happens. Uh, obviously, something major just happened. He switched teams. Now to see uh, if we get far in the playoffs, get an MVP award. Do something, please. We have finally done something. It's like our, I don't know what season with the Nuggets. But every single season with the Nuggets so far, we've been the fourth seed in the Western Conference. Fourth seed, fourth seed, fourth seed. One, uh, how many years? How many years have we been here again? Uh, one, two, three, three. So this season, fourth seed. We got knocked out of the first round. One of them, we got knocked in the second round. Uh, this time, obviously, we're in the playoffs. We're in the finals. Finally, my boy Trey Young is in a finals. He finally made it past the second round. Um, it's been tough. It's been tough. It's time for him to show up in the finals. Uh, just so you guys know, the Pacers, they got Zion. I'm pretty sure they got Zion. They won last season with him. Uh, they got LeBron James Jr., and Zion, Christian Jones, bro, how are, 
They got Dame and old Damian Lillard off the bench. 37-year-old Damian Lillard. How are we supposed to compete against essentially two LeBrons? He's averaging 23 and 13 rebounds with almost two blocks and a steal and a half. And then LeBron James Jr., 24 points, eight assists, two steals. <sighs> We're never going to win anything unless we upset them some... Oh, wait. Wait a second. As long as we don't choke this, simulate with SimCast. Trey Young has at least one ring in this simulation, please. Gonna just simulate this. Uh, of course, they are destroying us, so hopefully we don't go seven games. Oh, we almost cup. I could have jumped in that one and maybe won it. Anyways, uh, it is game uh, six now. Simulate with SimCast. We'll do the same thing. Simulate game. We're at home. We are Denver. I am not used to that. And we win. We win. Let's go. Let's watch the ceremony. First time, Trey Young getting a ring. He's probably going to be finals MVP, in my opinion. I think he's probably balling out. I am player locked on point guard, so I could only be Trey. I'm just going to cross him up real quick, ask for a little screen, a little step back. Three, bang. Oh, wait. It actually worked. I'm the best at this game. That's a little three stat pad a little bit. Pad my stats. Make sure I get finals MVP. Defense doesn't matter. Defense, you know what? We're up by so much defense. Don't, don't. That doesn't matter, okay? Let's do it one more time. Same exact play. Cross him up a little. Cross him up. Go this way. Oh, we're left open. Bang. The he is too good. This is on Hall of Fame, by the way. Where is it? Where are we? Settings. Hall of Fame. Game difficulty, just so you guys know. Y'all probably like, you're on rookie. Uh, no. Trey Young probably just has a 99 three, a 99 mid range, a 99 ball handle. It's just, it's just, it's just Trey Young. It's our turn finally. Nikola Jokic, that is the highest you've ever jumped in your career. But we did it. We did it, man. I'd like to thank uh, uh, 2K for the simulation. Finally getting to the finals as a fourth seed. So it wasn't easy for sure. Actually, it kind of was because we reversed a sixth seed in the conference finals. Um, just I guess the second round was the more difficult part. But uh, looks like our coach is Quinn Snyder. It looks like he just kept making threes as well. So I'm hoping it's Trey Young with the finals MVP award. Is he holding it? Come on. Nikola Jokic got himself a ring. And Trey Young got himself a finals MVP, got himself a finals MVP award. Oh, he made 10 threes. Two of those were because of me. So we got him to 10 threes. We got him to 48 points. Scores 48 points and secures a championship for Denver and himself. He averaged 30 points in these finals with eight assists, 50, 54%, four twoed. Like I said, the toughest was the Houston Rockets because they were the number one seed. Somehow beat them 4-3. We got ourselves a ring. He got himself a ring. Not a simulate. If anything major happens again, I'll be sure to show you guys. Quick update. It's been a few years since the championship. He's 33 years old now. Uh, we're pretty much going to simulate till the end of his career now. We'll probably fast forward till then. I'm guessing 37 years old. If he gets a contract here or there. But he starts the decline. 95 overall now. We saw him in his young Atlanta years go up to 41 total badges. Now he's back down to 37. We saw him get to his 97 overall peak. And now he's on the decline. Still a great, great player. 50, 40, 90. 50, 40, 90. 50, 40, 90. <laughs> like you'd have to scroll down to here. Like his first season with Denver, he did not get a 50, 40, 90 season. But then you go back to his two Atlanta seasons of getting a 50, 40, 90. He's just the absolute one of the probably the best shooter to ever play the game. Uh, just a few more seasons of his career left, probably at the top as well. So I'll fast forward till then. Um, he, he got one. I'm, he's not. I don't think he's getting another championship. It, it has to be complete luck, I would think, or a super team right now for him to get there. But at least he got one, and he was the Finals MVP, meaning he led them there. Another big move at towards the end of his career because he's already 36 years old. I don't know when he's exactly going to retire, but he might have another chance. Got traded last season to San Antonio. Bridges is a 91. Uh, Trey Young still a 90. And Theo is a 90 with a 89 center. So they still have four 90s on the team. A, an 84 and 83. So it's playoffs, maybe. Um... 
sucks that you got traded away, but like maybe it's a better situation. Really didn't do much with Denver besides one championship, which is a lot in those few years but the other years were not spectacular whatsoever brandon clark's gotta be yeah he's 38 everybody's just old simulating maybe two more seasons left for trey young in the nba i'm not entirely sure when he retires all right guys so the this season don't know if it's trey's last season he got a free ring he got a free ring with the celtics he went to the celtics um here is the game plan he didn't get any minutes the team was good though he got like minutes early on and then coach didn't give him any minutes at all scored a little bit more points that's crazy because last the last season with san antonio scored 24 so don't know if he's retiring after this but he got himself another ring to add to the resume he didn't have to do anything he almost got him 10 years apart. Oh my gosh, that's kind of crazy. Free ring for him. Don't know if he's retiring this offseason or not. Trey Young has finally retired. He spent the last season at home. <laughs> he didn't get a team to be on, uh, unfortunately. Uh, honestly, I feel like he would have. Uh, because one, two seasons ago, he scored 24 points. Boston just didn't give him minutes. So maybe he could have gone to another situation. Still put up some decent numbers. Been that vet for some young guys, but... That's how he ends his career. Career averages of 24.1, 7.7 assists, one steal. Got to see what those total up to because he did play 19 years. For his career, he averaged a 50, 40, 90. The man's nuts. Hall of Fame inductees. He should be there. He is with uh, these Tyrese Halliburton and Jason Tatum. Okay, so we'll see how many points he scored overall. He finishes top 10 in scoring, which is uh, above Giannis, right behind Carl Anthony Towns. Cade Cunningham's a beast. Uh, LeBron finished highly in this one. Anthony Edwards finished third. D Book fourth. So, hey, we're in some nice company there. Obviously, we're in the Hall of Fame. So, one of the best players to ever do it. A top 10 scorer. Three pointers. He's got to be up here somewhere. There's no way he isn't. He's number two right before, right behind Steph. Yes. Okay. Number two in three pointers made. Assist is he up here at all? I would hope he'd be up pretty high, but he's 18th. 18th in assist, so he finished very, very nicely. I don't know if he'd be somewhere up here in steals. I don't think he got that many steals. I tried to improve him year after year on his defense, but nothing would get... I mean, he'd get better stat-wise, but no badges, no defensive badges, nothing like that. Uh, but there you guys have it. Let's go look at his... Um, gonna go look at his uh, player highs, I guess, and then his award history. So two-time champion. One time he did a lot. One time he didn't get any minutes, but that's okay. 13-time NBA All-Star. Uh, so he did two, four, five-time All-NBA member. And a one-time, of course, first-team All-Rookie. You can't make that team more than once. Career high is 58 points. Career three-pointers made is 12 in a game. He attempted 21. Free throws, 18. Assists. How many assists you get in one game? He got 21 assists in one game. Not going to lie, a little underwhelming, but let me know who you'd like to see after Trey Young. Don't forget to drop a like, a comment. Like I said, comment who you want to see. Uh, subscribe if you are new and you are enjoying these simulations. You enjoy the rebuilds. Turn on those post notifications. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.